every so often I, I'm jealous of the char- some of the folks in the Bible. And it, John's one of those that I don't quite get. Um, the one that Jesus loved. I don't quite get that. I understand, and I'm learning, and I'm, I'm trying to find out exactly what it is. So I've been going through the book of John, and um, I have others joining me in doing it. But one of the things that I found from John is the things, the things that Christ has said to him. And it's that personal relationship. There are things that my wife has said to me that draw me closer to her. Um, exact truths. I know I can count on her in certain situations. I know that there are absolute truths in her life that are attractive to me, and because they're absolutely true, I will not leave her. There, I'm going to stay closer with her, and I'm going to support her, and let it grow, and everything else. So, what are the things that Jesus said to John to bring him closer? And these are the things that ought to draw us closer to Christ especially during communion. This is not a man, this is a God who loves us. This is a God who's consistent, who tells us the truth and gives it to us in a way that we can understand. So, here are some of the things that he said. John 6, 35. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger. Whoever believes in me shall never thirst. John 6, 48, 50. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes from heaven so that, no, so that one may eat of it and not die. John 8, 12. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. John 10, 9. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. John 10, 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. John eleven twenty five, 25, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me through, though he die, yet he shall live. John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 15, 5, I am the vine. You are the branches, whoever abides in me, and I in him. He is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. It's kind of that thing of, um, I know when my dad's wishy-washy, when my boss at work is wishy-washy, when the authority over me is wishy-washy, I get to get away with stuff. I get to do things that I think are funny, ha, 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 and they, it can get me in trouble. This is not what Jesus is saying to John at all. I am here. I am consistent. If you want life, if you want everlasting, this is where it is. Come to me and get it. And John, in the midst of it, pulls closer to Christ in love. This offering, this time of communion, is an offering for us to pull in closer to Christ, to pull in Christ closer to our God who loves us. John's still speaking, and I'm going to close with these two. Revelations 1, 8. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, who was, and is to come, the Almighty. Last one, Revelation 21.5. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. He also said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Whatever the burden is, whatever the weariness is, whatever... The sorrow is that's in our heart. Wherever we're tired, whatever it is that presses down upon us, Christ is, I am, and able to remove it. So when we take the cup today and we accept the offering and the love of our Christ, also accept his power. Take it into yourself and allow it to be the thing that drives us from day to day to day. Let us be a fruitful people. Let us turn back to our Christ, our Lord. Join me in prayer. Father God, you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son. It is not a maybe. It is not questioned. It is truth. It is your love. So through and in your love today, we offer ourselves back to you. You made us and you complete us when we surrender ourselves to you. Today we do. Thank you 
for the love and the trust of your son. Thank you that he gave himself so that our burdens, our sins, our doubt, and our fears could be washed away. Thank you that we have this time together to do it as one body, one people, joining with your son, saying, You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. We surrender ourselves to you in Christ's name. Amen.